Hi, I'm Emily and I'm a foster carer for Suffolk Fostering Service. Let me talk you through the steps I went through to become a foster carer. I'd been thinking about becoming a foster carer for a while and when I felt it was a good time for me and my family, I had a chat with a friendly member of the fostering team and they suggested I attend one of their recruitment events. At the event, I got more information from the team and spoke to a foster carer about their experiences. Next, they arranged a visit to my home at a convenient time. This helped me learn more about becoming a foster carer. I sent in my application and this is when stage one of the process began. Stage one typically takes 30 to 60 days. During this time, the team got to know me and my family so they could understand what I could offer a child in care. I gave them character references and they completed my background checks. I was invited along to a Skills to Foster course where I found out more about fostering, including understanding why children need foster homes, their birth families and the support foster carers provide and receive. I also met other potential foster carers going through the process. After the course, I was ready to apply for stage two. Stage two typically takes two to four months. During stage two, I had regular visits from my dedicated social worker, Jo. We discussed the type of fostering that was best suited to my household and the support the team would be able to provide to me when fostering a child or children. I also attended a workshop where I met people who would be there to support me when I was approved. I worked closely with Jo to complete my fostering report. This is the report that goes to fostering panel who will make a recommendation as to whether they feel you should become a foster carer. The report included lots of information about me, my family and the work I had been doing to prepare me for becoming a foster carer. Next, I attended fostering panel which is made up of independent people who considered my application. It was a big day for my family and afterwards I was delighted to be recommended to be approved as a foster carer for Suffolk County Council. Once approved, my social worker came to speak to me about a child who needed a foster family. That was very exciting. The support doesn't end when you become a foster carer either. I still have a dedicated social worker, as well as access to local training, resources, newsletters and social events. If you are interested in becoming a foster carer with Suffolk County Council, get in touch with the team and take that first step.